Peace to everybody back with another video. This is Melaniana. What happened to our rose garden? Yeah, so that is the question. What happened to our rose garden? And as you can see here is Melaniana Trump herself. She's beautiful. She's a former model. Amid the excitement of the Republican National Convention, First Lady Melaniana Trump has taken the time to redesign the White House Rose Garden ahead of her Tuesday evening address. In late July, Trump announced that she would be overhauling the existing Rose Garden, which was c cemented in 1962 by Jackie Kennedy. Critics were skeptical of this decision, not just because it was announced during the second coronavirus wave and mass unemployment in the U.S., now the results are finally here. Many are wondering what exactly happened to our rose garden. So now there's the critics. They're trying to um, say it all that Melania Trump ruined the garden and everything. No, Melania Trump did not. She redesigned it the way it used to be a long time ago. So this is why people are who are critics, they're saying, oh, they're skeptical of this decision, not just because it was announced during the second coronavirus wave and mass unemployment in the U.S., but now they're saying now that the results are finally here. Many are wondering what exactly happened to our rose garden, so that's the question they're asking. All right, so Melania and Trump did redesign the, the rose garden the way it used to be a long time ago. But now the fake news media, they're saying, oh, she ruined the garden, this and... No, she did not ruin the garden because Melania and Trump redesigned the garden the way it used to be a long time ago. Images of the Melania and Tr Trump Rose Garden have captured public attention this week, showing a drastically different deception or depiction, sorry, of Kennedy's original fixture. While the garden was once teeming with trees and flowers and bright colors, it now looks like an empty lawn with a few white flowers sprinkled throughout. Areas of tulips have now been replaced with white roses and hedges, with little to be desired of imaged in between. So now they're trying to say, oh, she ruined the the um, cherry tree, she ruined the the um the way that Jackie Kennedy had it. Uh, what about the other former first ladies that wanted a tree? What about them? Like Michelle Obama, whose real name is Michael um Le Robinson, by the way. Um, the Clinton. Well, I don't know about the Clintons, but what about them? Didn't they have something to do with the Rose Garden? Didn't they put a tree in there? I would I would not say I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> so Melania and Trump had to redesign the garden the way it used to be a long time ago. And of course they're saying while the garden was once teeming with trees and flowers and bright colors, it now looks like an empty lawn. What empty lawn? There's bushes all over the place. There's flowers everywhere in certain areas that she wanted the way it is. The garden looks much less like a garden and more like a field cemetery, Memorial Park. Uh, no, it does not look like a cemetery or a Memorial Park. It is missing almost any sign of life. According to CNN, well, of course, we know CNN is fake news. It's criminal news network. They're trying to say, oh, according to them, the garden looks much less like a garden and more like a field. In other words, like a cemetery or a memorial park. The renovation was designed specifically to fulfill the dynamic needs of the modern presidency. Yes, yeah, so the way that Melania and Trump wanted the garden is the way she wanted it because she redesigned it back to its original um, garden the way it was years ago when Jackie Kennedy 
had her garden had the garden designed. So now that's why Melania and Trump had redesigned it back to the way it was a long time ago. The very act of planting a garden involves hard work and hope in the possibility of a bright future, Melania Trump said when she announced the changes to the garden last month. Preserving the history and beauty of the White House and its grounds is a testament to our nation's commitment to the care of this landscape and our dedication to American ideals safeguarding them for our children and their children for generations to come. Yes, so the garden is for the generations to come. And it all, I mean, you have children there every year. They do the Easter egg thing. That's what they do. So, and she, of course, she said the very act of planting a garden involves hard work and hope in the possibility of a bright future. So that's what she wanted the garden to be like, like a bright future. And of course, she said that when she announced the changes to the garden last month on preserving the history and beauty of the White House and its grounds is a testament to our nation's commitment to the care of this landscape. So that's what it is. It's the care to the, for the landscape. Well, if Trump's vision for the presidency is devout of color and life, who are we to argue? On Twitter, writer Jennifer Wright called the garden devoted of color or joy, while others pointed out that it looks like an average front yard. Maladiana model, modeled the rose garden after the Trump family, cold and empty, one Twitter user wrote. Well, the person who said that the, um, the rose garden was cold and empty should go sit down and stop criticizing because that person has no right to do that. Um, of course, the one user says, well, if Trump's vision for the presidency is devout of color and life, who are we to argue? Yeah, who are you to argue about it? Because she did what she wanted to do with the garden. Um, other Twitter users, they pointed out that it looks like an average front yard. No, it doesn't. It is a beautiful garden that Melania Trump wanted when she restored it back to its original setting. And this is what, this is the picture of the garden, of what it looks like, back to its original setting from a long time ago and this is what Jackie Kennedy had so now Mel and this is why Melania Trump she redesigned it back to its original setting one thing that truly set people off though is the removal of Jackie Kennedy's crab apple trees she cut down Jackie's trees I hope that Dr. Biden returns it to to the way it was, Republican commentator Anna Navarro Cardenas explained on Twitter, voicing the shock many feel over such a huge change. According to reports, the trees, which were essential to the original design and a central part of the garden, now are now being exposed boarded somewhere else on the White House grounds. Well, excuse me, but the person who criticized um, Melania Trump's garden the way that it was before, now they're saying oh, that the person is saying, I hope at Dr. Biden returns it to the way it was. Well, excuse me, but um, Joe Biden is no in, in no capable of hands of being a president right now because his brain has turned to oatmeal. He doesn't know where he is. He don't even know what day it is. He can't even put his sentence together. So now the Republican person is the one who's criticizing about the, tr about the garden. I... This garden is beautiful. I love it. It's, it's just the way it is.
more prominent criticism of the entire redesign of the White House Rose Garden compared Melania to Marie Antoinette's. Let them eat cake when she decided to use resources for home decor while illness and poverty run rampant across the country. Though many have complained that the decorative project was a waste of taxpayer money, the White House has started that the pro or stated that the project was entirely funded by private donors and not the public. Some have pointed out that the garden desperately needed an update, and this is long overdue. And I agree, the garden did need an update, and it was way overdue. So, and so now the White House has stated that the project was entirely funded by private donors. In other words, we don't know who the private donors are, and that they did not get no help from the public whatsoever. All right. Um, some have pointed out that the garden desperately needed an update, and this is long overdue. Yes, it was long overdue uh, fr from a long time ago. Cause look at all these other former first ladies. They didn't care about the garden. They just, eh, what the heck? We'll just leave it the way it is. Yeah, okay, whatever. So this is why all the former first ladies who are Democrat. They did not care about the garden at all. They just, oh, we're not going to have it cut or anything like that. Well, you know what? Too bad. Um, here's a Twitter user. He's, he wrote before and after photographs of newly renovated White House Rose Garden. Of course, this, as you can see, how he had it. On the left, it had the trees. As you can see, and on the right is the current rose garden of what it looks like. Whatever the reasons for Melania's changes to the garden, the cold and lifeless. <coughs> Excuse me. Lifeless image of the White House is pretty. It, Sorry, excuse me. Is evocative of the entire Trump presidency. So, Melania, good job on staying true to your bread, I guess. <coughs> yes, yeah, so they're saying whatever the reasons for Melania's changes to the garden, the cold and lifeless image of the White House is pretty. E evocative of the entire Trump presidency. So, Melania, good job on staying true to your brand, I guess. Yeah, so the garden is beautiful and it's looking great. Um, I know a lot of people are upset about the cherry trees being gone and everything, but, but who cares? It's not their garden. They have no say in it whatsoever so I mean why would somebody just criticize oh you ripped out the cherry trees how did I excuse them but these people that are criticizing the garden it's not their garden they have no say in it what Melania wants is what she wants not the people on Twitter that is criticizing her for it leave your comments below I am out